May the Lord bless everyone as you are worshiping me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is supposed to Peter Daniel. You are worshiping me in heaven and hell. Uh, in the topic and under the umbrella of two of heaven. Uh, as we are going to be treating 250 errors. Over 250 errors that is taking people to hell. These are the errors that uh, we have uh, Jesus Christ hand over and uh, has given us a serious warning to give to the church at this time and at this hour of the day. So we are, are by the special grace of God, we are dealing with this uh, 250 errors that is going on in the church, in the church. And this is causing people to go to hell. This is causing people to go to hell and we are, uh, uh, this is a school entirely. So if you want to be admitted, you want us to admit you in the school of heaven as we are training you for three months. And uh, we are going to issue a certificate to you and the very document that you can use to monitor in everywhere. Uh, you can just WhatsApp me by plus 234 uh, 234-81389-66287. That's the WhatsApp number. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you as you listen. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, we are going to be dealing with paying money for position in the church. Paying money for the position in the church. They are particular people in the church, in some churches, that they are paying money to become, to become a minister. Listen to me very well. It's just a clear message, but painful and unfortunate that all this error is happening in the church of God. There are some things that is not supposed to be heard at all. There are some things that is so taboo to hear. There are some things that is so painful when you say it is happening in the house of God. There are some things that when you say it, where is it happening? You say it's torch. They say what? Torch. Why torch? There are some things that should not be happening and that is making God bleach inside him making him bleach and making him seriously bleed and uh, uh, painful every day because of what is going on in the church but I pray that God help everyone as you are listening to me and I pray that as you are listening God gave you the spirit God will give you the spirit to repent to make corrections and to make everything different in the mighty name of Jesus Christ there are, there are errors that is painful to speak about that are happening and one of them is pain to become to 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 earn a title in a church pain to earn a title in a church amen pain to earn a title in the church and this is so painful a uh, very very painful i'm telling you there are some church that they will ask the elders that if you want to become an elder you have to pay for fifty thousand. Eh? You want to be an evangelist, you have to pay for 100,000. You want to be a prophet of God, you have to pay 200,000. So, somebody, I met, a, I met a particular king, and that king was claiming to be, a, he was claiming to be an apostle. He said, sir, he said, apostle, he said, ah, he said, I am a senior apostle in my church. I said, okay. He said, in fact, they are, I, I've even paid for one position, and they want to give me a, uh, is he eminent or something? <laughs> is he want to give him a super, maybe the supernatural apostle? I don't know. They want to give him a great title. <laughs> Amen. See, they want to give him one great, great title that, uh, that is more than senior apostle. He said he has already paid for it. I said, You pay what for what? He said he has paid for the title. So he's going there now. This by probably the, the month end at that time. He was telling me, say by the month end that I'm going to go and pay for it. He said, He said, he said immediately that we anoint me as a as an apostle so he said i've paid for them all i've paid for it in the church of god we have you seen in the bible that you have to pay for title to earn me something you want to be an elder you have to pay for money to be an elder you want to be a, a pope you have to pay and do some bribery so that you can become a pope well there's no evil pope in the bible anyway there's nowhere the pope is written in the bible and there's nowhere it is uh, no 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 place at all amen so i'm so so i'm so surprised so people are even paying for the post of bishop that they want to become a bishop if i if i should ask you who tells you that bishop is a great title 
that you have to pay for it. This is one of the errors that is going on in the church. Go and read the Bible very well. Who has taken bishop in higher post? But I'm still coming to that level because there are some people that are paying for bishop to become a bishop. So when somebody becomes a bishop, they begin to give you a, give you a cap, give you a, a big change. There are some necessary shit they give to you. They give you a chain and uh, you become a pope. And you become a bishop and they begin to call you Lord Bishop. Who make bishop a lord? Who make bishop law? The Bible says that we are fivefold being presented by Jesus. Bishop is not a big title. Even an evangelist is high to pope uh, to, to, to a bishop. An evangelist of a thought, the post of an evangelist is more higher, is in a very higher state than a bishop. So, what makes you a big thing? An apostle will come before the bishop and they will say, uh, Bishop will say, Is that way you're supposed to greet me an apostle? Is because I'm an apostle? Greet me now. Bow down. He said, My Lord, Bishop, sir. Who is Lord? Who is Bishop? These are not said as a practice in the church all around now. My Lord, Bishop. Go and look at it. Bishop is a small title in the church. It's just like a bishop. Bishop is just like a deacon, uh, deacon elder, elder title. So it's not a big one. Who give you your dad? Give you something. Some say, I'm an apostle, so I want to go and become a bishop again. What is one of that nonsense? So, please, I'm, I'm pleased. I want you to understand. This is an erratic movement that is going on in the church and it's affecting the body of Christ, affecting the kingdom of God. And God is angry about it. People paying for, to become a post. You gave them money, you say you want to become a pope. Uh, 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 you want to become a bishop, you want to become an any post in the church. You have to pay. There are some there are some church that you have to pay to become a choir. There are some there are some church. I will cover their name. I wouldn't I would just expose them. That you have to become a one of the one of the security workers in that church. You have to pay for hundred. You have to pay hundred thousand. Hundred thousand bells. So they will give you a post. That is nonsense in the body of Christ in the church. So you begin to sell post now as a as a as a things of mercy. You are no more using the spirit of God to to measure people and give them the post in the church. We are no more walking in the spirit of God. We are no more being moved by the Holy Spirit to put people in a particular post. They are supposed to say, "Who can we give this post?" Two several men who are filled of the Holy Spirit. Two several men. Who are filled of the Holy Spirit, who can carry the mandate of the digging, digging mandate, help the mandate, shoot several men. And the people begin to come in and say, Well, I have some brother here. The boy is full of faith, full of the Holy Spirit. Stephen can become one. It's okay, where is again? One of them, Philip, they begin to mention them one and one and the other. And they anointed them to be a digging. You won't, you won't, you won't, you see, you won't be, you won't be, you won't be too, you know, uh, uh, let me say, you will be surprised to see that a deacon is the one who was able to challenge the Jewish people. A deacon, those deacon in the church was the one God used to challenge the Jewish people. And the Bible said when Stephen was talking, it was full of eloquence and power that they became very aggressively angry. And they went to go and lie against me. When he gave, came before the elder too, he began to speak in the power of God. And when they hear his voice, they say, ah! The Bible said they were gnashing in their teeth. Almost dies. What? Because the power of God is so loaded in the life of Stephen, so dead that they became fearful that what this man carry, they have they have no choice. They said, "No, no, no, go and kill him." In those days, they don't just appoint people into post; they appoint by the leading of God. Any pastor that appoint anybody in the post without God leading you. You will go to hell because church is not your own house. 
is a house of God. Everything done in the house of God has to be in an orderliness. In the great power of the Holy Spirit, it has to be in orderliness. Amen. Everything done in the house of God, it has to be led by the Spirit of God. It has to be led, it has to be an instruction from God. You do test us that somebody should be your partner, somebody should be your uh, secretary, somebody should be your pastor, somebody should, somebody should No! Make sure you have been led. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. You'll be in trouble. Are you the one of the top? To a level that people begin to get jealousy and envy, fighting in the church. Why? Because they want to become a pastor. There are some churches that, because somebody is being lifted more than them, they will go and call a higher assassin to go and slaughter the person. In the church of God. These are hell. Appointing elders and deacon and deaconess by riches and wealth level. There are some people that they appoint elders and deacon by the richness of their hand, by the money they get. They say, well, now because of the money where you get, so let's give and deacon so that they can be supporting the church. In the church of God? No, 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 no way. There's no way, no way, no, 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 no way. That is not how God wanted to be. So by the riches of the man, they will appoint him as a deacon. No, but no wonder we have a, we have the deacon we have in the church are ritualists. No wonder the deacon we have in the church now, they are thief and scammers, kidnappers, ritualists, politicians are the deacons we have in the church. It's no more spiritual field than knowledgeable people, wise people. We rather have those people who are satanic agents as the deacon we have in the church. No longer, no way, no long, the Holy Spirit is no longer living in the church again. He has to start, you know. May the Lord help the church. May the Lord save the church. Apporty choirs and ushers and workers with that appropriate training and salvations. How will you be appointing a worker, a choir, without an appropriate disciplinary passive? The, the, you are not sure that they are safe, but because they have talent to sing, because they have talent to give a song, you begin to appoint them as a choir. That is wrong. It's not everyone that must sing. It's not everyone that must preach. It's not everyone that must be an usher. Make sure you examine their salvation. Out of experience, I've told you that I, I, in, my, in, my, in my former mistake life, I have seen people who sing to the Lord, but they are not saved at all. They are not born again. They have not met Jesus on Calvary. Their life is too dirty and stinky. Amen. Their life are stinking and dirty. Because why? They are not safe. It is the gift they have that they are using. Amen. Organizing program with I'm trying to make it for you so that you can, you know, grab it on time. Organizing program without the leading of the Holy Spirit. This one is one of the problems we have in the church now. I want to do this one. I want to do this one. Some people will maybe it's going on the way and they see something. An example, you say, ah, I want to go and have a program. I want to use it to do a, 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 a program. So people, it's because somebody is drinking. I want to go and do my own program. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. As a servant of God, you cannot just do things anyhow without being led by the Spirit of God. You, you cannot just. You, you, it's not like that. You cannot do two things like that without being led, without moving the grace of God, without an instruction from the master. You can't do things like that. 
Because I want to go and have a program. I want to be, I want to have a seven days prayer night. Who tell you, say, well, I feel like. You what? You feel like. He said, this grace, you feel like. He says, sir, 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 I'm feeling something like this in my heart. I'm feeling something in my heart. But I want to go and do crusade. I want to go and do crusade. And I will invite, uh, yes, I will invite Pastor this. Yes. And uh, Pastor Akege. Yes. And Evangelist uh, Morayo. Yeah, yeah. T- by the t- three of them are fire. So by the time we do very well, I will now, you know, from there I can get some cash, you know. Is that, is that reasonable? David said, should I go after him? In every battle that David went to, he always asked God first. In everything that David do, he always asked God first. God should lie. 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 That is the lifestyle of David. God should lie. You don't just take a movement. You are not the owner of the work. You are not the owner of yourself. You have no decision. You have no decision on yourself. Jesus owns you. Jesus owns the ministry. Jesus owns the church. He, he takes the decision of what to happen in the church. Not you. Not you. Not you. Let me tell us two or three more before we get close today. Sowing of seed in the New Testament movement. <sighs> Praise the Lord. One of the errors I want to talk about is this. Sowing of seed in the New Testament movement. There are some pastors that they are outside now. And they will tell their member, sow seed of miracle. Come and sow seed. That is extremely satanic. If you are led to sow seed, like you, you are led, that's fine. But nobody should force you to do that. Nobody to, 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 hang, to put neck, to put uh, this thing on your neck for you to do that. Nobody. If you have a seed to sow, you can sow. If you are led, you can sow. If you see the work of God, you can sow on your own. With them. And when you do that, heaven will always remember you. 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 When you sow, it is a great blessing for you. It will make everything open for you. They will make God to always hear your prayer because it's an act of love for God. You are telling God that you love Him. That's why you are sowing. But for a pastor to come and say, hey, you want to have a child, come and sow $1,000. And I will, I'm telling you, I will command a child, of, I will try to enter you right now. $1,000. And people begin to come out. It's a demonic force. A pastor should not tell you so. It should be a desire from your heart. A pastor should not command you to sow. A pastor should not push you to sow. A pastor should not um, uh, energize you to sow. A pastor should not influence you to sow. A pastor should not manipulate you to sow. A pastor should not try to cajole you to sow. It should be a pastor not willing offering. He can announce it that, okay, we need a, something in the church. That one is normal. But not telling you sow. Sow to my kingdom. Sow to my ministry. So to my church, who tells you? You have no doubt. If a pastor is telling you that he's trying to fraud you, showing is a personal thing. There are some people, in fact, there's another error that is going on right now in the church. When you see a pastor, an evangelist, or a man of God, a pastor, a prophet, or an apostle, or a bishop, or so ever they call themselves, they will go to a crusade. Listen to me so very well. They will go to a crusade. And they are in the crusade ground. They will be asking people, unbelievers, to contribute money, offering. It is so disgusting. 
is so disgusting. From where are you collecting the offering? Please tell me, an unbeliever, the person that you are looking for him to give his life to Jesus, you are collecting an offering from him? Is it to pay for his salvation or what? What's the offering all about? When you are in Kushi, you are preaching the gospel and you ask for offering. I say offering in a crusade, in the outside crusade, open your crusade. You are saying offering for what? He said, We wanted to give honorarium to uh, you know our pastor came. So if you want to help God, please uh, come and contribute. What from the un an unbeliever who you are. <laughs> In fact, there are some certain decisions and things, you know, there are some certain things when you hear it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We feel bad. There are some person that you will be, you will be even using cardoing to cardo people. They will tell them, come and uh, uh, come and give God this money. Come and give God this. We want to buy instrument. We want to buy this in the Kushi grant. Come and pay money for the petrol. Come and pay this. So people that you went to go and win their soul, that they are yet to know Jesus Christ, you're already asking them money. Then what is the gospel meant for? It's actually established because of money. It's not, it's not certainly because of service or of soul. That is why many people might have been a preacher, but God is writing in their account, account that they have no preach at all. Many people thought they have win souls, but God, to God's own account, they have not win anything. Because anywhere you went to and you partake in giving, you collecting offering from people, you partake in collecting offering from people, you are a thief in the altar. You are a thief in the old pulpit. You are a scammer in the pulpit. You are not meant to collect their material things. Those people who can give you material things are the believers. For example, now those who are on Zoom can give material things. Those who are who have been listening to my message and they have already repented, they can give material things. They can bless me. They can ask for offering. Not, not that you are you are going like open your crusade to go and win souls. You now announce, come and give offering. You don't collect offering in the crusade. It's too dirty and disgusting. You don't involve. That's time. Scam on the altar, scam on the pulpit, scam. You are scamming the people who are still lost, who needed God to be saved. You scam them. How? No wonder many of them are not saved. No wonder many of them they just present to be saved and they are leading. You are not to collect anything from them. If you want to be a child of God. When you went to a non-believer and they offer you money, tell them no. A non-believer should not give you money. He has not given his life to Christ. He's, he's donating money for you. Please, what is he donating? Nothing. He's trying to tell you that he can use money to buy it. Do you hear what Peter said? Simon, Simon, Simon of the sorcerer. He went to go and meet Peter and said, Peter, he said, this miracle of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I love it so much. Can I bought it? I have money I can give you. Give me the gift. And Peter said, may your money perish with you. You see that? May your money perish with you. The, the apostle of those days, they didn't go around begging. They showed to people that they are sufficient. They showed to people that they are able. They show to people that they are filled. It's not the money they want. They are not going out because of money. They are going out because of souls. There are many places I've went to and they wanted to give me the room. And I, would to, I told them, I said, don't bother. Not because I have it much, but because I felt that I, I do want to collect money in that place. It's not everywhere. It's not everywhere. May the Lord bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. These are many errors in the body of Christ that we need to eradicate or else 
it will eradicate the church. It will kill the church. This message is a warning from our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord God bless you and be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name will remain Apostle Peter Daniel by the grace of God. You are watching me in uh, heaven and air under the umbrella of school of heaven.